Hello everyone, and the month of October is here, when Netflix will be releasing its Halloween seasonal offerings with new creepy titles coming to the streaming service. And depending on what country you live in, there's a wide selection to look forward to, such as Daredevil Season 3, the sci-fi fantasy series Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, and Bodyguard, the hit BBC drama that peaked 10.4 million average views in the UK. And if you want to watch Netflix content from a different country, such as the US, UK or Canada right now, then check out ExpressVPN today with the link below. Anyways, without further ado, here are all the new Netflix originals coming to October 2018. So first up is the spy thriller drama, Operation Finale. Described as cerebral, gritty and full of suspense, this thrilling true story follows the 1960 covert mission of legendary Mossad agent Peter Malkin, as he infiltrates Argentina to capture Adolf Eichmann, the Nazi officer who masterminded the transportation logistics that brought millions of innocent Jews to their deaths in concentration camps. We're all animals. Next is the comedy series Big Mouth Season 2. Netflix describes the show as raunchy and quirky. Season 2 picks up right where the first season left off, where teenage friends find their lives upended by the wonders and horrors of puberty, that and dealing with the strange urges and changes that come with the tedious development period. Oh, who are you? The Shame Wizard! Oh, fuck. Next up is the independent comedy, Private Life. Described as irreverent and understated and starring Paul Giamatti, follows an author called Han who is undergoing multiple fertility therapies. Struggling to conceive, Han and her husband, now in their 40s, are almost out of options, until a sliver of hope arrives in the form of their visiting stepniece. Next, we have the crime drama thriller, 22nd of July. Netflix says that this movie is cerebral and gritty. From the filmmaker that brought you Captain Phillips, director Paul Greengrass, tells the true story of the aftermath of Norway's deadliest terrorist attack. On the 27th of July 2011, 77 people were killed when a far-right extremist detonated a car bomb in Oslo before carrying out a mass shooting at the leadership camp for teens. It's going to be okay. I promise you. Coming up next is the horror drama series The Haunting of Hill House. Described as emotional, scary, and full of suspense, flashing between past and present, a fractured family confronts haunting memories of their old home and the terrifying events that drove them from it. That really bad dream? Of course I'd wake you. Next is the British thriller The Apostle. Described as violent, dank, and scary, directed by Gareth Evans, the filmmaker that brought you The Raid, and starring Dan Stevens and Michael Sheen, the film is set in 1905. A drifter on a dangerous mission to rescue his kidnapped sister tangles with a sinister religious cult on an isolated island. Coming up next is the show Wonderlust. Originally a BBC miniseries, in an attempt to revive their dwindling sex lives, a therapist tries to save her marriage with her husband after a cycling accident causes them to reassess their relationship. Next up is Marvel's Daredevil Season 3. Not much is known about this season except that Matt Murdock starts the season broken physically, emotionally, and spiritually. Deciding to set aside his Matt Murdock persona and just being the devil, he's angry at God and at the fact that he had risked his life to do God's work. And he's questioning whether or not he was a fool. I'd rather die as the devil than live as Matt Murdock. Coming up next is the mystery drama series, Bodyguard. The hit BBC drama follows a troubled war veteran who is assigned to protect a controversial politician who may be the target of a terror plot. Now, I've just finished watching this and I have to say it lives up to the hype. It's super engrossing and I would thoroughly recommend it. I don't need you to vote for me, only to protect me. I'll do what's required. Next, we have the anime series, Castlevania Season 2. Described as violent and dark, when his wife is burned at the stake after being falsely accused of witchcraft, the vampire Count Vlad Dracula declares all people of Witcher to pay with their lives. And I have to say that the first four episodes of season one are great, and I can't wait for season two, so if you haven't seen it yet, check it out. 
Coming up next is the sci-fi fantasy series, Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Netflix describes this as violent, dark, and scary. Based on the Archie comic, as her 16th birthday nears, Sabrina must choose between the witch world of her family and the human world of her friends. Happy birthday to you. And that's it for most of Netflix Originals this October. Now, if you weren't aware, not only do I do these monthly Netflix updates, but I also do many similar videos to this one, based around movie suggestions by genre that appear on either Netflix or Amazon Video. And if you want full access to all of Netflix's global content, as well as services such as the BBC, Hulu, Prime Video, and any other streaming services, then check out ExpressVPN. It's a service that hides your true IP, allowing you to bypass irritating geographic restrictions by making your device appear as though it's connected from somewhere else. And the first 100 to click on the link in the description can get a 35% discount. Anyhow, before I go, I just want to say thanks for watching, and if you like the video, then feel free to subscribe to get notifications for all my future releases.